Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org and you can download some of the programs available there. So in this particular video, we will talk about how to <coughs> uh, train a neural network. So as you know, uh, neural network is used in machine learning and it is a very wide field. So we will talk about uh, this neural network topic in steps and first uh, first topic we will discuss in neural network is function approximation. That means how can we approximate a function through neural network and how can we use that particular network for other application as well. So this particular neural network after training can be used without uh, directly instead of the function in our world. So let's start with MATLAB, open MATLAB. Uh, first because uh, we want to train our network to a specific function. So first of all we need to generate the data set. Data set means the input data set and what are the targets value. Target values means uh, what values you want to be uh, simulated or you want to generate from the network. So let's say we have input x equals to 0 to 0 0.01 to 10 okay. or uh, you can have any other data set uh, that is experimental data set or experimental data generated uh, generated and you have certain output there. So even then you can also uh, use that particular data. So it is just for the simulation purpose and let's say our output uh, describes by the function uh, this one uh, x to the power 3 so we have our output there this one now this is our target values and these are our input values so these input values will be and this target values will be used uh, for the training of the network and uh, if suppose we want to if we talk about with reference to any experiment so this will be the input to the experiments whatever we are doing and these will be the output of the experiment y. So based on this input and output pair, we will train our neural network. So as we know, uh, for this particular example, uh, we will be using a multi-layer perceptron model uh, of the neural network. Yes, there are various available network as well. Uh, we can all, uh, those network can also be trained by the same way. The main objective of this particular video is to uh, teach you like how to use a neural network or how to train a neural network so you can you are free to choose any other uh, uh, settings of the network uh, for your work so in this case we will be using a three layer uh, a multi-layer perceptron model so at the input layer there will be single neuron that will be represented for the input at the output layer there will be single neuron because we are uh, output is also one also a one dimensional output in the middle layer or we can say hidden layer uh, we can say we will be having a 20 uh, 20 neurons layer uh, that particular is depends on how much accuracy we want it so there are particular commands uh, for creating a new uh, a network so first we will create a network new feed forward network so this particular network is feed forward min max x uh, these are the hidden layer and then output layer comma these are the activation function like we are using log sigmoidal so as you know there are various available activation function for uh, neural network and at the output we are using pure lane and then So these are the settings which needs to be done for creating a neural network. So a network has been created here. So let's see what are several values there. So dimensions, connections and simple matters are represented there. Now we will set like how many epochs we want to use in training. So train parameter dot epochs equals to uh, we are using suppose say 8000 epochs there and let's say train 
parameter dot goal one e to the power minus twenty five train uh, learning rate I say zero point zero one. Uh, uh, we have set all the values for the training now we will train the network so for training a network it's very easy it's simple train net then input and then target values so it will uh, open up a new window and it will start training the network so these are saying these are the iterations number of times it is being trained so we have set 8000 and maximum performance we want the performance to be up to e to the power minus 25 accuracy now it is a uh, uh, greatest descent matter so, so if you see the performance so it is very approaching to the ideal one let me mean square error is approaching and we can also have the training straight different values of it so it will stop as soon as uh, the uh, training will reach or either it will reach to the number of iteration so let's wait for some time Yes, one of the problem with the neural network is uh, they can uh, trap into the local minima point and generally this uh, descent, uh, descent learning algorithm has that particular uh, deficiency so there are some other networks as well or uh, some other learning algorithms as well which uh, um, which uh, removes this particular problems of this uh, greatest descent gradient algorithm. So it's done. So it has raised up to performance has been raised up to e to the power minus 10 and that is quite good. So let's see how our result varies from the ideal one. And the maximum epoch raised. So it will reach either it uh, uh, satisfies this particular criteria or this particular criteria. And uh, now our network has been trained. Now we can check the values. Uh, so this is uh, several values. Now if we want to evaluate uh, our uh, network like uh, suppose the uh, y value of for input x of 10 was mm -hmm. y of 10 was 7.290 to the power minus 4 uh, if we say for 10th value of the input this was the uh, target values now so let's see what our network is giving to the same values if we provide the same to it so uh, there is a certain percentage of error because uh, it is 7.29 and it is 7.001 let's uh, test for another thing like y of 500 value is 124 and let's see what network gives uh, 500 so uh, getting the output from the network is simple simple net and the input values which we want to get for which and it is 124.2519 so at this particular point error is very less so error is up to the uh, fourth power of the um, or after decimal point so let's see we got the network output for all values of x and y net and let's try to plot all uh, both of them these were the remember 
by represent the targeted values hold on and these are the real uh, values which we got from the uh, neural network and uh, let's say we represent in r so these are almost identical because the error is very less and mm, we can also do one thing error is very less uh, it is not visible directly so suppose if we try to yes at the starting only there was some error after that it was not there so you can also check it we can also get like uh, error values error equals to y minus y underscore net and let's see how it varies plot error so yes it's very less like it is fluctuating around 0 0.2 to the per 10 to power minus fourth value that means 0 0.0001 so there is only uh, if we talk about percentage error so there is near about 0 0.01 percent less than 0 0.01 it is 0.001 percent of error is there we can also calculate the maximum error by taking the mean square values of it so uh, in this particular video we have learned like how to train a network and how to use uh, to get the values from the network for any particular input and how uh, obviously we can further use this particular network in any other application so we will coming up with more videos on this artificial intelligence and with this particular artificial neural network in upcoming days so that's for this video and thanks for watching